Hi there. Think back to a time when you had dreams. Maybe you had something you knew exactly what path you your life was going to take. Um, you know, maybe you were even a child, uh, a young kid even. Um, so think back to that time. What happened to those dreams? Do you need to find a way to get those dreams and get your life back on track? Well, today we're going to talk about how having a personal mission can shift your focus and get you back to dreaming about life plans for yourself. Hi, I'm Diane LaFoon, and I'm here with your Joy Tip of the Week. And I'd love to hear from you. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd love to know who you are and why you're watching. That'd be terrific. So there was a time in my life um, when I had it all planned out. And I was just a kid, to be honest with you. I knew that I enjoyed listening to my friends. I knew I enjoyed paying attention to what was going on in their lives. And so I was absolutely certain that I was destined to set up a practice um, in counseling and become a doctor, Dr. LaFoon with her counseling practice. Well, because of this, I set out to college like a banshee. I ended up doing my bachelor's degree in two and a half years. And then I started on my master's degree. And I suddenly looked around and I was like, hey, wait a minute. This is when I'm supposed to be having fun in my life. And so I started kind of shifting my values and um, that eye on the prize kind of went away. And, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to get through all of my schooling and set up my practice so quickly was because I also wanted a family. And so my values just kind of started shifting and changing and circumstances arose. And um, I ended up just putting that all aside and not doing it. And that can happen when you don't have... Um, something to kind of be your your North Star, what you come back to, what you know are your values. And it's something that you can review over and over again and you shift and change as you grow. You, you have certain values that change. Um, obviously, when I was in college, my values went from, um, you know, helping friends to having more fun. <laughs> so that's why I ended up quitting working on my master's degree. And I may get back to that someday. Who knows? But because of this, I have really determined and I got to the point where I realized that the best way that you can have dreams and have a purpose for your life and be fulfilled by that is by having your own personal mission statement. And so, you know, personal mission statements, they take time to develop and they have to be reviewed and adjusted regularly um, because our values do change and, and circumstances in our lives change. And so the process of creating and understanding what your values are, what's important to you, what your life goals are, that's what all goes into writing your own personal mission statement. And again, like I said, it's something to be re reviewed over and over again and adjusting as things in life change. So I'd like to talk to you today about five positive outcomes from knowing your personal mission. And this is the reason that it's important to create and go through that process. So first of all, it streamlines your decision making. Any other people, uh, do you know of anybody that's just a, a yes person? I'm a yes person. I have a hard time saying no when I'm asked to do something. And so until I created this personal mission statement, I said yes to everything. Um, you know, when you're faced with decisions and choices, you've got to know when to say yes and when to say no. Until I came up with my own personal mission, I didn't have a filter to know what decision to make when I was asked to do something, to volunteer, to be a part of something, to participate. I just said yes because I was a yes person. So if you're a yes person, a personal uh, mission statement can help you streamline that decision making and know when to say no and and no, no is a complete sentence. That was a hard one for me to remember too. No is a complete sentence. Um, you don't always have to say yes. So secondly, it distinctly expresses your why. You know, most of us live our lives by accident. It's just the way it is. And uh, an author named Simon Sinek came up with a great book back in 2009 called Start With Why. And it was talking about leadership and business, but he ended up, uh, you know, ended up talking about applying it just to life too. And he says, and, and this is important to know, knowing your why is the one constant that will guide you toward fulfillment in your work and in your life. And that fulfillment comes when we live our lives on purpose. So stop living your life on accident. Um, so many of us do that. When you have a mission statement, it helps you distinctly express your, your why and it helps you to live your life on purpose. You've got to know why you do what you do. And a mission get, statement gives you that clear, concise idea of your identity and your purpose and what you value in life. It's, an, it's a summation of what your why is. So keeping a, a personal mission statement is important for that. So we know how to 
Uh, we know that it streamlines our decision making. We know that it distinctly expresses your why. Thirdly, it keeps your eye on the prize when you face a tough season in life. Let me tell you, in 2018, when my dad had his accident and died suddenly, um, it, it just threw us all. We were just so shocked because my dad was such a healthy guy. We thought he would live forever. And I had to stop everything for a time, for a season, to go through that grief. But let me tell you, knowing what my values are, knowing my personal mission statement, knowing what was important to me, helped me get back to that life of everyday living fulfilled and, and knowing that what I'm doing is for a purpose. And so having that mission statement keeps your eye on the prize when you go through a tough season of life. Not that you're not going to take a break from it every now and then, but it definitely helps you get back there. It calls your attention to the future that you're striving for. And going back to your per personal mission can refocus your attention to that future and to your goals and to your purpose and give you that fulfillment that you're longing for. So fourthly, it keeps you on your own life journey. You know, so many of us, even without knowing it, are paying attention to what everybody else thinks we should do. You know, so many people tell me, Diane, you're so techie. You should teach techie stuff. Do you really think? Well, I, I know there are people that find fulfillment in that, but I don't find fulfillment in teaching people, you know, you press this button instead of that button, or you just click around, you're not going to break anything. That's not a fulfilling thing for me. What I'm doing right here, talking to you, telling you about how to have a personal mission statement and why it's important and what it will do for you, that's fulfilling for me. And it lines up with my mission statement. So don't let others direct your per path and your purpose. Um, having your own personal mission statement keeps you on your own life's journey rather than listening to all the in, uh, input from all of your friends and your family. Now, I will tell you, there's one exception to this, and that would be for those who are married. Definitely, when you are married, you need input and, and um, conversation with your spouse as to what you value together as you move forward in life and what your life purpose together would be. Because when you are married, you are one with your spouse. Um, but other than that, honestly, I don't see that you, you can take uh, advice. You can take, you know, um, conversation and, and talk things out with people, but don't let them direct what your personal mission should be. This keeps you on your own life's path. So uh, having your own personal mission streamlines your decision making. It distinctly expresses your why. It keeps your eye on the prize when you face a tough season in life. It keeps you on your own life journey. And then finally, it keeps distractions at bay. Um, my dentist growing up used to always say, what the eye hath not seen, the heart doth not want. And so, you know, it's called the lure of that shiny object syndrome. Um, it used to be just magazines or um, shopping that we'd see all these things that would distract us and get us going in different directions. But now we have distractions everywhere. Um, I tell you, Pinterest is, is one of those distractions. The other thing that is just crazy is the way um, Alexa and Siri know what we're talking about and what might be important to us. And so we're bombarded with the, these shiny ob objects. You know, I was talking about um, looking for a new purse the other day and suddenly I'm scrolling and all I'm seeing is Michael Kors and Kate Spade and fossil purses in the sack and all these things. It's just nuts how we are bombard bombarded with uh, these shiny objects that can lure us away from paying attention to our life's purpose and what we value and what we have set up as our own personal mission statement. So don't get pulled away from your own plans. Definitely stay on, on mission. It keeps you on track for what your dreams are, for what your life's purpose is, and it helps you to be more fulfilled. So when, um, when you think about it, um, I'd, like, I'd like to let you know my personal mission statement. It is to glorify God and to encourage people I encounter by living a healthy lifestyle, always learning new things, and giving generously. And this is what I line up everything by. I do change this once in a while. I go back and I review what my values are and see if they need to t tweak and adjust it at all. But this has been my personal mission statement for quite some time, actually, to glorify God and encourage the people I encountered by living a healthy lifestyle, by learning new things, and by giving generously. So those are my priorities. But your priorities are what matters for your life. And so I would tell you it's important to... Come up with your own personal mission statement so that um, you can streamline your decision making. So that, sorry about that. 
so that you can distinctly express your why, so that it keeps your eye on the prize when you're going through difficult times, so that you can keep you on yourself on your own life's journey being fulfilled, and so it can keep those shiny objects and distractions at bay. Do you have your own personal mission statement? I would love to hear about it. Please share it here. And then if not, would you consider developing your own personal mission statement? Reach out to me if you'd like a little help with the process. I have a series of emails or text messages that I could send that would kind of guide you along how to create your own personal mission statement. And so I'd be glad to share that with you. You just need to reach out to me and I'd be glad to, to help you along that process. And it is a process. But once you get it done, it's just that, you know, that North Star, that mission, you know what your life's purposes and you know how to be fulfilled and succeed in those dreams. So thanks for watching. If you have a mission or when you have a mission, you know what is your life is all about. And that's so important to choosing joy. When you know that you're not kind of living life by accident, when you know that you're fulfilled and you have dreams and you have values that you've lined up as your personal mission statement, you can choose joy because joy doesn't simply happen to us. You have to choose joy and you have to choose it every single day. Thanks for watching.